What is this? Hey, rodeo bloopers four. Look, guys. Wake up, man. This is gonna be good watching. I like the. I'm gonna be honest with you. Good rodeo, bad rodeo. I can't really tell the difference. Allegedly, this is a sport, and as such, it was subject to a blooper compilation. This was the early 90s. But what exactly is a rodeo blooper? Well, hang on to your hats, because on this episode of Media Loss, we're getting bucked. Rodeo as we know it was first performed in 1869. It grew out of farming and the practice of cattle herding, first in Spain, but is perhaps most popular in Canada, Mexico, and the United States, where the image of the cowboy is synonymous with rugged masculinity. There are many regions that consider rodeo an integral part of their cultural identity. It's sewn into the fabric of places like Texas, Wyoming, and the Canadian province of Alberta. Originally, it was a way to test a farmhand's speed and skill, but has since grown into a competitive spectacle. However, I don't see this as two people competing against each other. I see rodeo as a person against themselves, using and abusing animals as a way to combat their insecurities. By conquering these animals in a controlled environment, they're proving something to themselves. About themselves. What an athlete. Rodeo most commonly consists of the following events. Bronc riding, in which a cowboy attempts to ride a bucking horse. Calf roping, where the goal is to lasso a calf's neck and then tie its legs together. Steer wrestling, which sees a cowboy jump off a horse onto a steer, wrestling it to the ground by its horns. And finally, bull riding, where the objective is to stay on top of a bull as long as you can. Now this tape is obviously just a blooper reel of people getting hurt. I have a feeling that's why most people watch the rodeo, similar to NASCAR, and I'm sure those two fan bases overlap. But in showcasing the mistakes these cowboys make, I feel it highlights the cruel absurdity of the so-called sport. With the inept on display, we see it for what it is. Weak men abusing animals for the sake of soothing their fragile egos, to confirm their notions of masculinity. And it's in this way I feel that all rodeo's a blooper, and every cowboy's a clown.